So we are going to download these files first. But I have three files. So instead of manually highlighting and then clicking to download them one by one, I'm going to write a bash script and then use that to download the files. So I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, let's copy all the links. I'll just copy them and then I'll move to the terminal to download them. So join me on the terminal. So on the terminal, I'll first create a working directory. So I'll say make the assembly and then I'll cd into it. Perfect. So now I am going to create a bash script to download the file. So I'll say nano and then I'll say download data.sh and then I'll open it. You can use any text editor to do that. You can use vim, vim or any text editor, but I choose to use nano. So I'll open this script. Once I am here, I am going to do this. I am going to add my shebang line. And then I'll move down. I'll then paste the links. These are the links. Because I'm going to download on the terminal, I'll need to specify the tool I'm going to use. And that is wget. So for each of these lines, I'll start with wget. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So each of them. And these are three files. Okay, there are three files here. So that's why I choose to add wget to each of the lines. Okay, but if you have hundreds of files or thousands of files to download, then there are better ways to automate the process. If you have such an issue or if you have maybe lots of files you want to download, you can contact me and then we can arrange something and then work it out. Okay, so let's proceed. So I have issued the commands here. So I'm going to save the changes. I'll exit and then save the changes. Perfect, that's it. And so I can do an ls and I'm going to find the scripts there. Okay, so I'm now going to execute it. So to execute, you can say bash, and then specify the file like this. Or you can also do this. You can add execution rights, ch mode plus x, like this, and then specify the file. And then you can just do this dot slash and specify the file. So this will also download the files for you. So I'm using this approach. So let's download the files. Perfect. So the bash script is working. So we can see that the files have been downloaded. Currently, the Illumina underscore f dot f has been downloaded. So let's wait for all of them to get downloaded. Okay, the files have been downloaded, so let's check them out. So let's do an ls, and we are going to see the files there. 